Amber Newman. Um, okay, so you know, people say that something is better than nothing. It's a start. Sometimes that might be true, but that's not one of these times. Our phone has been ringing off the hook since the last meeting with people trying to make heads or tails out of what you did. It pains me every time I have to tell them that after working on this issue here for more than two years, the city passed a stall tactic. For anyone thinking this compromise is anything other than a two-year ban, our mayor recently stated on KBPS that it will be 18 to 12 months or longer before any licensees would be operational. For our farmers, that means that you will miss the next two to three outdoor growing seasons. Manufacturers and labs, our staff has locked you all into the same zoning that currently, from what I understand, has about a 2.1% vacancy rate. So y'all get to fight over about the three buildings available that will meet the uh, setback setbacks. When it comes to the patients, we don't need to explain anything to them. They know they got screwed. They know that without dispensaries, they've once again been left to fend for themselves in the black market that our very own chief of police sat here and encouraged you to solidify because he needs more time to research something that has been legal in this state for more than 20 years. Who exactly is running the show here anyway? In the last two years, there has not been a single cannabis vote that has left these chambers in complete and utter silence that we heard the other night, and that was very telling. Mayor, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, for someone who has stated that you are interested in avoiding a citizen initiative, you're off to a pretty rocky start. And Ms. Sanchez, as someone who is running for office this year and at least seems to understand the importance of the cannabis vote, don't think for even one second that supporting a medical marijuana ordinance that does not provide medical marijuana access to those who need it makes you cannabis friendly. That is not a flag that you will be able to carry into the ne this next campaign season. Believe that. I urge our council to reject this pitiful attempt at appeasement. Our residents have asked for better, they deserve better, and one way or another, they're gonna get better. Thank you.